Chris Meyer. Join me and the Legendary Customs team as we take ordinary rides and craft them into Legendary Customs. Chris with Legendary Customs based out of La Crosse, Wisconsin. Thank you very much for joining us. Behind me is what Ron's grandchildren call the Little Red Truck. It's a 1948 Willys pickup truck that we transformed from an original vehicle into this beautiful custom rig that's behind me right now. The project started out as a two-wheel drive because the customer really wanted front independent suspension so it would drive better. Well, partway through, we fixed up the frame, boxed it in. A decision was made to change it to four-wheel drive because you can't have a Willys Jeep truck and not have four-wheel drive. So we had to go out and find a frame for this to fit on. And what we found was a, 19, or a 2000 Escalade frame. It was the exact same size within 1 16th of an inch. You can't get any better than that. We put a 30 second up front, 30 second in the back, and we're right where we needed to be. It gives it a very aggressive look. He bought some really nice 33 tires. He loves the chrome, we love the chrome, but it really gives it a bulldog stance. Really mean, really aggressive. We did get rid of the torsion suspension underneath, and we put in coil over shocks and suspension. So it totally rides different than what it did on its original frame and original chassis. So we have a lot of modern features on an old vehicle. For an example, up front we have a 1948 Willys truck, but underneath is a 355, 325 horsepower Chevy motor. It really puts the power down solid. Underneath is the transfer case that was in the Cadillac truck. So just like in the Cadillac, push button, changes over to four-wheel drive, lock it in, and rock and roll. And the rear end is the Cadillac rear end also. So it's geared perfectly for going down the highway. When I drove it over to West Salem last week, 55 miles an hour was about 1200 RPMs, 1300 RPMs. So at 70 on the highway, it's going to ride out really, really good. But basically what you're looking at is a truck that Ron has owned for 25 years and he wanted to update it to make it into this. So let's go over each and every little detail so you can see what we did. Okay, what we're going to start with is something that you traditionally do not see on a custom vehicle. This is from Image Woodworks in Sparta, Wisconsin. He made these out of cherry for us. These are extremely important to Ron because his family gave him these as a gift. Now, they were a different material before we started the project, but we redid them and copied them uh, in cherry. So it gives it a really, really classy look for what he was going for. Now, something that is next is in the bed. So not only did Image Woodwork do the stake pockets out of a beautiful cherry, in a 1948 Willys pickup truck, something that is not from the factory in any pickup trucks is a wood bed. We really wanted to put in a nice wood bed for him, so we put in the stainless steel strips, beautiful cherry wood, and we used the hidden fasteners so you don't see the bolts that hold in the stainless steel. It's a very clean, very crisp look, and it's designed just as it would be in a regular pickup truck that has a wood bed to get rid of the water. And in the center here, we have a billet aluminum. Push this button here, and that's where you fill up the fuel. So it's a very, very nice seamless situation, and it's just gorgeous. Again, in a 1948 Willys truck, this is something that you would never see. I've seen about three of them on the internet. I'm sure there's a lot more out there, but 
I would venture to guess none of them are as nice as this. And the one cool thing about cherry is the more that it's out in the sunlight, the deeper and richer this wood will become. So right now it's been in the sunlight only for one day, but it'll get deeper and deeper and richer and richer. And next to the beautiful red paint, this is really gonna pop very, very nicely. Up front, we have the original Willys look. However, the one change that we did make is the blinkers. In 1948, those were just running lights. We went up to a 1950 lens just so we would be able to have blinkers on them. Now, like I said, underneath, obviously we had it rebuilt brand new. You saw that in other episodes. We painted it a really nice high contrast silver. So next to the red, it really, really pops. One thing that Ron likes is some of the old classic engine hardware. So we put in some billet aluminum for the pulleys and brackets, real nice air cleaner with the standing fins that were very, very popular back in the 60s and the 70s, and the same with the valve covers. So we have a lot of things that are modern here. We did get rid of the uh, fuel injection. He wanted to go carbureted old school and have the old school look. We have, of course, power brakes. We did put in an Edelbrock carb, one of their new ones. And of course, this does have air conditioning. We use vintage air in this bad boy and it really keeps things cold. Works very, very good. But check out the motor. It is awesome, 425 horsepower. And it really, really gets you down the road. You're not asking for any power. Everything that you need is right there. Now, if we go on to the next thing, if you are familiar with Willys in any way, you know that front bumpers, brand new, in chrome, are not available. They are available painted. We purchased it in raw primer, and then we sent it off to a company in Minneapolis, Ron actually did, uh, and had it chromed. Now, if you're wondering how much is chroming in today's world, I'll tell you. Just this bumper was $710. Amazing amount of money. And then of course he had the, the grill guard and the other pieces done. So it is beautiful. It is show chrome. It is really, really a nice finish. But if you want a chrome bumper, you cannot order them anywhere. Right now they just come painted. So that's another feature that we stepped it up on this and it really, really gives you a nice look. Now, if you remember, we did an episode that we talked about the front suspension, and I told you that we had to make a change. One of our viewers out there reminded us of something extremely, extremely important. If this looks familiar to you, it's because this is the front top A-arm from the Escalade. Now, the Escalade, the top A-arm, does not support any decent amount of weight. So, what we did is the bottom knuckle, we used, actually we had DCA, Dan helped us out quite a little bit. He machined it, welded it in, so now we have a new knuckle up on top, new ball joint that is designed to carry weight. This would have been just fine going down the road for probably four or 5,000 miles, and then this would have worn out. Thanks to a viewer, just like all of you, he told us that it's something that we should change. We knew it, we forgot about it. With his reminder, we changed it out. So when you look underneath, you're gonna see that the shock was mounted right here. We moved it farther out to the front because you get a better ride the farther out that you go on the A-arm and you'll see four bolts. Now, the four bolts do not hold in the knuckle. The four bolts literally are what the shock holds to. The ball joint is literally welded in and part of the A-arm now. So that was a very important change. So if you're following our directions on building this and you forget to make this change, 
That's a no-no. Make sure that you put a structural ball joint up in there. That's very, very important. Okay, one small detail that I wanted to point out is this little emblem right here, Jeep truck. In 1948, this was one of the first Jeep pickup trucks that were manufactured. This emblem was not on the truck when it originally came in, and we actually found a really nice reproduction. The holes were still there. The people that did the work before us filled them up with Bondo. So the holes were exactly where they were supposed to be when we cleaned it up. It was really easy to install. Now we're gonna go from this to a product that you can't see. With the wheels hanging out this far in the front and the back with the aggressive look that we got, you need paint protection. This thing out on the road, one time, one rock, will raise hell. So, from the body line right here and down, this has a product from 3M on it. And G-Force Wraps installed it for us, but it is a high gloss, clear paint protection. So any rocks that come up, instead of chipping the paint, will hit the paint protection from 3M. And then that paint protection, if it gets beat up really, really bad, you literally just peel it off and put brand new on. So it's not an inexpensive t product, but it is tremendously inexpensive compared to a brand new paint job. So that's something that we did. Now, up here, we have from Lacrosse Glass, some nice smoked tinted laminated glass. So just like in 1948, the glass came from the factory laminated. That's exactly what we have in here, but we did add a nice smoked tint. So it looks beautiful. They cut it to fit. Awesome job, Lacrosse Glass. We appreciate your help on that very, very much. Now we go to the interior. And it's no surprise that Regs in Onalaska, Wisconsin, Matt and his son and Danny all worked on our interior. We've been having Regs do our interior interiors pretty much from the beginning. Now, at the show, this one, best interior. You could depict a better vehicle. It's just very simplistic, but yet very, very elegant for a 1948 Willys Jeep. So we didn't get too far off of the beaten path, of what you would find in a vehicle like this, but we put a lot of little touches of class in here. The seat is extremely comfortable. It is a bench seat versus the buckets that it came with. The bench seat is so their grandchildren can ride with them when they go on trips. We put in a nice billet gas pedal, brake pedal, and dimmer. And of course, this air conditioning system and heating system is from Vintage Air. It fits right underneath all of the gauge cluster. And I could not have asked for a better product. It is almost the exact width as the factory gauge cluster is. And it looks like it literally could have come from the factory that way. So it just, it looks very, very classic. It is not really modern like I said, but it looks like a vintage air conditioning system, just like they say. Now, up in the center, we did redo the gauges. We got rid of everything from Willys because those were six volt, and instead of adapting them over to 12 volt, we did go with Dolphin gauges. Dolphin gauges is out of Florida. They are wonderful people to work with. Now down below the gauges, there are several buttons. One of them is to lock in the four wheel drive. Another one is for the headlights. Another one is for the windshield wipers. And then the other one is for the interior dome lights. One thing that Ron did, what do you do in a classic vehicle? You add dice. So he put that at those in the last time we were at home. It was at his house. Very, very nice touch. In the back window, we do have a uh, antenna to pick up radio stations. It's a nice small digital antenna. And down below we have what is a hidden stereo system. It's meant to go in a glove box or somewhere hidden 
we put it down on the floor so it's out of the way so he can see what station he is on but it has everything again a lot of modern touches but not to the degree that takes away from this elegant classic 1948 Willys pickup truck all right everybody thank you for joining us that is a wrap on the 1948 Willys Jeep the little red truck fondly called by his grandchildren just this is a beautiful beautiful build I can't say enough thank you to Zach and Tyler for putting things together and working hard on this it's just really really a very very good team effort to bring us to a fabulous fabulous final product now I have been told that Willie's has a huge following Jeeps the Willie's truck the Willie's uh, Jeeps that were used in World War one World War two just a huge following out there if you have one of these bad boys I'd love you to comment below drop in a picture of what you have what you're working on we'd love to see them this one a little bit over the top but we'd love to see what you got going on out there we're doing this because of you guys our viewers it's what it's all about the memories that these vehicles create that's why we do it so we appreciate that now remember like us on Facebook please follow us on Instagram you're watching the final episode of the 1948 Willys truck there are 13 I believe episodes prior to this literally from the day it pulled in to today why don't you go back and watch those episodes see how it's done we have some real nice pointers in there for you if you're looking at restoring your own Willys truck or Jeep a lot of things that are interchangeable there but we do appreciate you tuning in if you like what you've watched please share our videos and subscribe down below then you can see our future episodes that are coming up on other vehicles that we are finishing but again Chris with legendary customs the legendary team and myself thank you very very much for joining us until the next episode we'll see you then <laughs>